Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, for everyone who's new to my channel or just zapped in, my name is Jens and I live, I live here in beautiful Western Australia. And today I wanted to share a few little things with you I, I'm doing or I'm intending to do. One is I'm salting my pond for the winter. I do that every time. I salt my pond in winter or just when it started the winter and in springtime. And the reason I do that is to help my koi get through the winter when their immune system is a bit um, on a, a lower drive due to the, the colder temperatures and the, the hardly eat, so they're not, not getting enough nutrition. Um, I, I believe, and what, that's what I learned on the internet, on koi forums, on YouTube, it is very be um, beneficial for them. It's like a, like a vitamin supplement we take to support our immune system, to have less um, colds or other infections. Um, and that's purely what it is. Only a, I only put a 4% solution into the pond, uh, not more, and I, I'm very careful when I do this. And the other, other um, part I wanted to share with you is how am I going, how has my power consumption, oh, how is my power consumption now with the new pond, pond pump I installed the other week? Um, so yeah, how, basically how much is the total consumption on my system now? Those are the few things I wanted to share. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'll turn you around now. I finally got a got a new thermometer for the pond. This time it's it's an inkbird. Um, the sender is inside the the filter, and yeah, I can sort of check it during the any time of the day or night. So we currently have ten point three degree. The bottom temperature is. Uh, Inside temperature here in the house about 19 degrees. They will, we are truly in winter. Our fireplace is not that running. So outside temperatures during the day about 10 degree. Sometimes going up to 15. Um, and yet night time, we had a few cold nights last few days or nights. Um, we dropped down to almost zero. I think one night we had one degree, so it's not far off. So yeah, can't see the koi much with the glare of the weather, but the sun came through. They're doing good, not eating much. I reduced the feed to just one small feed a day. It's okay, let me show you how much power I'm using now. Oh, it comes oh, up I put a little plaque on so you can show you so I'm using all together all the pumps the air pumps and the UV 215 watt um, I'm very happy with that result I think this is pretty pretty good uh, that's why I want to keep it at the 215 watt so I reduce it basically I I'm more than half my consumption from the beginning when I started this. So from over 500 to now 215. And yeah, I started another little thing. This is not a archaeology dig for treasure. I'm digging at the moment the trench for the electrician to put two cables and, uh, and two circuit breaker, RCD circuit breakers in, so I finally can run the pump on a, yeah, a proper wiring system, not just with a, some sort of an extension cable. So yeah, so this is 
Yeah, 600 mil deep. And it would go from there over to that, yeah, meter. Still have a little bit to go. That's my job for tomorrow. I had to do that today and yeah, all these nasties came up, big rocks, old fruit tree stumps. Yeah, this used to be an old fruit orchard, our block. And my favorite soil, clay. Love it, especially in winter. Okay, very important when you do salting your pond, you need to be very careful and so you don't overdose it. 5% in your of salinity in your pond is should be the the max. Um, I'm staying at 4%. I think that's that's good enough. And I use this refractometer to check the salinity while I'm doing it. So I, I know how much I can put in without overdosing it. So it's about, it's not about, it's actually exactly no more than 20 kilo of salt I'm using to put into this 17,000 liter pond. And for everyone out there who believes it's um, it's not good for the koi, um, it's not true. Koi have a a natural like all all fish and all beings on this planet have a, a natural salinity in their body. And I will I will put it up how much it is. Um, if I'm not wrong, I s three. Okay, so let me get you to understand and then I'll show you how I, I do this. Okay, first I measure how much salinity I already have in the pond. And I started yesterday, I put first 10 kilo in yesterday. And I measured yesterday, before we had a big downpour of rain, it was about, it was, um, it was 2% salinity. Put a drop on that refractor meter. Close it. And then, you have enough sunshine or light out here, you just look through into the light and it should show you in there how much it is and Yes, it is still 2%, hasn't changed, at least not on the, my refractor meter, so that's good. So we can put more salt in. Okay, I got the salt. And I use just normal swimming pool salt, what I get here at our hardware store. It is plain salt, there's no, no uh, other substitutes in there or um, nasties. So if you, if you salt your, your pond, you only, you only use normal table salt without any iodine on uh, supplements in there where you can get these days just pure normal table salt and yeah this is pool salt this comes from a lake here in Western Australia you, you can't use it as table salt because it's still um, yeah, it's not refined so it's basically just mined out of normal normal old salt lake and then packed into bags uh, still could be some maybe some uh, well, maybe sand in there or something but this is what I use and it works really really well for me so just put the back oh. and I 
just I just I put it in here. This is where I have there's no bottom drain, nothing. Yeah, you should avoid dumping it too close to your bottom drain so it doesn't go straight as a concentration into your into your filter because it would just basically um, harm your filter bacteria if it comes if the concentration is too too much at once. So I just put it here. I have a the normal flow coming around so it gets nicely dissolved and then distributed into the system. Yeah, and just pour it in. Yeah, as you can see, it's just pure white salt. That's all what it is. Pretty coarse, it's not very fine. It's it's like rock salt when you, when you buy it in a shop, rock salt in a grinder. That's how coarse it is. So I'm not pulling the entire bag in. I just want, I just measured in between. I'll just pull it three quarter of the salt in and then let it dissolve for the next couple of hours. So by yeah, the next two, three hours it should be all gone. Then I measure the salt in the pond and decide if I dump all the rest in or just leave it. As I said, I only want around, around about four percent, it's three and a half, four percent I'm happy. And that that's for the winter. And then when spring comes and I did the filter clean and, and all, all my maintenance for the upcoming season, that's when I put another 4% in. Okay, and when you, when you do this, don't use the pond water on your garden. You'll kill your plants if you do this. And for everyone who's wondering, Yes, yeah, so I have plants in my pond. Over there, at the moment, dormant lily. And there I've got, um, what are they called? I think water irises. I have never had problems with these, these plants. They all do fine with the salt in it. But it doesn't mean this applies to all plants. Some plants might not like it. When I, I heard from one YouTuber who used to pond water to water his bamboo and he killed the entire bamboo hedge. Well, sounds really good to me. I have plenty of bamboo I try to get rid of. I might use that method to get rid of my bamboo here. Okay, this is from me. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it. See you next time. Uh, quick little update. It's now 8 o'clock in the evening here and all the salt has dissolved in the pond. So it's all gone. Um, yeah, and now the, the kois have retired to the other side here over here all huddling up on the bottom yeah pretty warming each other's <laughs> who knows um just a quick apology for the mix up of the percentage on the salinity um because i use a refractor meter it's all about um per mil on the refract and that's where it is um yeah the two per mil or four per mil I'm measuring uh, yeah and, and just to make clear in percent it's point zero point one to zero point five percent you should maximum salt your pond and I don't use the salt as a medication as some people um, claim it I just use it surely, well, purely as a 
let's say a tonic or supplement to support their immune system nothing else if I would use it as a medication or preventive I would do a salt bath per each single fish um, and that will be a much higher concentration and only for a short short term okay just quick little update and see you the next time thanks for watching